what's going on guys station here back with another breakdown match analysis of final round this time we're gonna have uh, burrito Voorhees going up against tsunami a pretty interesting matchup here um burrito Voorhees gonna start off playing swamp thing uh like we saw him play against forever king and uh, tsunami playing that flash all right so um uh, in this matchup, I really think, um, I, I think Flash does actually not bad here. Uh, you would think, uh, based on, like, the characters that Swamp Thing has, like, a really good advantage because of just, um, like, his normals and, like, out, how much he outranges the, uh, the Flash. But, um, the Flash can actually really pressure, uh, Swamp Thing very well without having to deal with a lot. Um, the, uh, down one, two actually low profiles all wake-ups from... Uh, Swamp Thing, so he can really just um, do down one two meaty for free every time. A nice read there, uh, baiting out that neutral jump. And nice right there, um, Rita Vore, he's throwing out that stand one one. So you see uh, a couple times earlier too, he's throwing out this stand one. Whenever we see Tsunami go into that running man stance, um, Rita Vore, he's like to do that stand one one to uh, beat it out. That delay just sort of uh, caught burrito pressing a button. And right there exactly is what I was talking about. You can see um, that down one two low profiles that wake up from Swamp Thing. Nice. So uh, Tsunami doing a lot of staggers actually. Like he even got caught trying to um, press uh, back two after that down one two. Smart side switch there. That should be death. Smart. I like that decision to uh, meter burn roll through. Um, a lot of Swamp Things like to do that back to the big club swing off the start and there's not really anything Flash can do about that. So that meter burn roll through is a very good option. Uh, put Swamp Thing in the corner and allows you to either um, back off and like get a running main stance your way in or just dash in for pressure. Uh, but it looked like uh, Burrito Voorhees was sort of ready and just uses his good walk speed from Swamp Thing, walks back and gets a beautiful trip guard here at that stand 1-1. One, one. And then should send him back in the corner. Went for that command grab, but just uh, missed it. Nice. So, um, Tsunami is being like actually like uh, pretty disrespectful in the way he's playing. So you see this block down one two. Technically, it's not his turn anymore, but he decides to just jump in anyway, uh, reading the respect from. Uh, Burrito Voorhees and now you can see on hit from this down to Burrito Voorhees is challenging Really good option against flash a lot of players uh, when flash gets in their face. They just freeze and uh, Don't want to like press anything and, and that's really will allow flash to do whatever you want uh, If he knows you're just gonna block he'll be able to just uh, Mix you up for days, but if you show you're willing to challenge it, then he has to change his gameplay Like even waking up down one. Nice, that was so smart. All right, so let's see here. Right there, it was so sick. Uh, he does a walk up, I've talked about this so many times, but it's so good. That walk up right here, this walk up right here, baits out this throw. You can see the throw tech comes from uh, Tsunami right there. Gets hit with the, I wanna say it's back one. I'm not sure which string this is. Goes into the back one string, and Tsunami here cannot clash because if he clashes here, he's going to take about uh, 300 damage, leaving him at 100. Uh, and so smart for Swamp Thing or um, Burrito Voorhees to go into this bounce cancel, puts him at such low life, activates the trait, and then goes for this meaty log kick. So this meaty log kick is going to be very plus, allowing him to go into the club for a chip out. 
Looked like he just got hit though. Really great decision making there by Burrito Voorhees. Again, uh, Tsunami really um, challenging, or um, playing like very disrespectful, just dashing in, or not dashing in, jumping in like on that blocked um, down one two. Yeah, so you can see how respectful uh, Burrito Voorhees is playing, allowing Tsunami to get away with a lot of stuff, actually. Um, you can see how Tsunami is uh, dashing, or not dashing in, like jumping in on blocked moves and um, really doing delayed uh, staggers and whatnot. Yeah, I, I don't mind that decision by Tsunami. He really had nothing to lose there. He only had like 10 life or whatever it is. So why not throw it out there? And uh, if it hits, good. If not, you don't really lose too much. Beautiful whiff punish. That's really the um, the only option uh, the Flash has in this matchup to whiff punish is that back forward too. Very fast normal, but uh, very minus on whiff and block. So... Uh, you really have to be looking for it for um, to make sure it hits. Nice. So I, right here, um, you're seeing how uh, Brita Voorhees walks into this range and then goes for that back club right there. Looking thought um, Tsunami was either going to dash into it or walk up into it. Uh, doesn't though. Goes into that running man stance and then directly after this we'll see uh, him get hit by that club. Yeah. Just walked forward at that last second to get hit by that. Nice whiff cancel there. Wow, so I like this too. On block from this um, down one two, we've seen Tsunami do jump in after jump in after this block down two and also on block the um, ground pound. So after this block one two, this time uh, burrito goes into the stand one one, and that will catch both that jump in coming in and the ground pound. Luckily, uh, well, it worked out for him, even though um, that's not what he went for. Nice, uh, caught that back dash there. Nice uh, armor after the minus frames to. Uh, Punish the uh, counter poke. All right, so now we're starting to see Tsunami dash in. I uh, haven't seen too many dash ins. Nice, and now he's going for that meaty down one too. It's really a, such a good tool in this matchup. Such a smart decision there by Burrito. So uh, right here, uh, Tsunami's really just staggering very well. And uh, this minus four, I believe the ground pound is, and uh, Burrito goes right into the uh, command grab. And I think that's a really good option. Um, typically, uh, you'll see a backdash from Flash players here, but in this matchup, backdash is a very bad option because of how big that club is from Swamp Thing. So um, Tsunami just blocks expecting this club to come. Uh, but Burrito on that next level goes for the command grab because he'll be able to switch sides after. And it's, it's a much safer option than a regular throw. If he goes for a regular throw and uh, for some reason Tsunami jumps back or neutral jumps, uh, he'll get a free full combo punish on Swamp Thing. So such a smart option to go into command throw. Chooses to build a back to some life. Not a bad decision. And that was just a weird scenario there.
right, so a little rough position here for um, Burrito Voorhees, but... Yeah, you really can't wake up. That's a good clash. He sa he's uh, saving his clash for when the flash activates trait, and I think that's a really smart option. The flash doesn't really get too much damage unless he uh, has trait or is in the corner. Nice, and now he's uh, you can see he's looking for that back, back forward two with punish. I don't, I don't really know if I'd agree with this decision to uh, activate trait instead of go for the full combo. I think uh, the combo might be better or at least end in the command grab um, to build back some life. He's really low on life here. A little questionable here for um, Burrito not to push block. But regardless, Tsunami takes it. Nice, looking for that um, that down three on, on start round start. So a couple times we've seen uh, backdash or or walk back or um, the running main stance from uh, the flash on round start from Tsunami. Uh, this time Burrito looking for that uh, running main stance or walk back and uh, Tsunami actually uh, jumps over it. Yeah, and now you can see, it looks like Tsunami recognizing how Burrito is challenging and when he's challenging. So uh, changing up his staggers a little bit, canceling into trade actually, and uh, just whiff punishing that. Yeah, that is, it's really hard for uh, uh, Swamping to wake up in this matchup. Now that he's established that down one two meaty, that really opens up a lot more things on wake up. Uh, now the overhead is a much more deadly option. Misses the punish there. Nice, I just want to point something out here too. After this string, uh, you can see a slight walk back from Burrito. Looking for that whiff punish on the down one two. Mistimes it slightly, but I really like that. Misses a punish there too. So um, Burrito is really missing a lot of punishes here. Uh, and that, that can come back to cost him for sure. Nice. This is good patience here by Tsunami. So the... Uh, I like that actually. The, um, the trait uh, while Swamp Thing is in it. He gets armor on a few of his moves. So right here this move is negative. And... Uh, Burrito goes into stand three, and this has armor on it actually while he's in trait. So if um, Tsunami goes for the counter poke, Swamp Thing will just armor right through it and he'll eat a ton of damage actually. And then at that range that that stand three leaves him at, there's not really much Flash can do, so just goes back into that pressure again. Uh, and this time recognizes that Tsunami is respecting that armor from the stand three, and he goes right into a command grab. Really smart stuff. Again, missing a punish. Nice. I think that's a really smart decision by um, uh, by Tsunami to just push block and then activate trait. Uh, I, I don't agree with um, Burrito not push blocking though. It worked out for him, but I think the push block is a much safer option in that scenario. Uh, it really just gets rid of Flash's trait immediately, so you don't really have to deal with any other mix-ups. But uh, regardless, it worked out for it worked out for him in that sense that he didn't get opened up by the trait, but Tsunami take that last game uh, with an air-to-air -air jump too. 
And as we just saw, um, Brutal Vorky switches to Bane, which um, I'm a little surprised about. I think, um, I, I don't think Bane does too decent in this matchup, actually. I think Flash really can, uh, can uh, shut Bane down pretty good with those multi-hitting normals. Again, no push block, but uh, showing that his defense is very good and he's uh, able to block all the mix-ups. Nice. Look at that slight walk back into that trip guard. So sick. Right there, that extra walk back into that trip guard. And uh, Tsunami here waking up like with buttons every time. That's really scary against uh, against Bane. I, I think against Bane, like push block is a very good tool. Sick uh, restand, but uh, doesn't work out for him. That was really good block by uh, Burrito Voorhees. Yeah, and you can see here uh, in the the Swamp Thing matchup, you saw him throwing out that stand 1-1 one, one whenever he would enter running man stance here uh, he throws out down one as Bane really good option to keep people at bay uh, that down one is so active in such long range yep armor through it so this down one two anything canceled after this there's a there is a gap uh, Bane one of the characters that can really abuse that just armor right through it so, um, like we saw earlier, uh, Tsunami loves jumping after this and canceling into that ground pound. Um, he adapted as Swamp Thing and started uh, punishing it accordingly with that Sand 1-1. One, one. So here he decides to go into that Lightning Kick because uh, that would beat out the Sand 1. But uh, Bane just armors right through it. Oh no, that's so much damage. Yeah, so just got opened up by the uh, overhead into the uh, bounce cancel and level 3 trait. That'll do a insane amount of damage. So yeah, Breed of Voorhees takes it 3-2 uh, actually. Really good match. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with another breakdown match analysis of Final Round. Peace. I, I,